Simple, no moral victories. Um, we came into this game hoping to win, expecting to win. Uh, and I think at moments we played well enough to win. Uh, but un unfortunately, at the end, they made one more play than we did. Um, I thought it was a great lacrosse game for the fans. Uh, disappointed, but you know what? Our goals are still right in front of us, and we need to put this behind us right now. We need to move forward, and we need to think about <coughs> Thursday. So, uh, you know, it's kind of where we are. NPS Nonprofit Services has the technology and know how to achieve your nonprofit goals. We have all the tools that you need for your nonprofit to be successful, including tech support, consulting, development strategies, and business continuity to make sure your data is safe on prem or in the cloud anywhere all the time. Call NPS at 877 797 8776. We're easy to reach and easy to work with. Questions? Coach, defensively, Connor Kelly and, and Jared Bernhardt didn't score a goal today. I think it was something like over 20 something. What was the defense able to do to kind of keep those two threats off balance? They played well. Played good team defense against two terrific players, and we defended two guys with, with, with seven. Um, that was the game plan. We played great team defense, and I thought our, our, our guys finally showed up and played defense today. It's the first time in a while. And I thought they did a, good, a very good job with two really good players. What do you think were the breakdowns for those last two goals in regulation? They're a good team. I mean, you hold the team to eight goals in five quarters. You want to talk about breakdowns? No, you're up, you're you're up. To, what, you, what you should talk about is what a great job those guys did. Tough to defend a team that's averaging 12 point something goals a game. And, uh, and keep them to eight and five quarters. Um, you know, you're bound to make some, some miscues, and a good team like that will capitalize on them. You know, the first goal of the game, I'll take, I'll, I'll, take full, uh, I'll take full blame for it. We said we didn't want to slide to the face-off guy. You want to slide to him and let was News Kiss or, or Kelly or uh, Bernhard shoot the ball, and we picked our poison, and, you know, to the kid's credit, he made, he made the play. So uh, they made one more play than us. That's the difference in that game. Robert, can you talk about what was the strategy against uh, Connor? Do you feel like you were able to execute? Uh, honestly, I think Coach Adorama had to cover him with seven guys. Even though it was either Miro and starting on the ball, we would show really fast, slide to him when we had to, stay on the double so he couldn't make plays with the ball. And um, yeah, our defense just did a really good job getting the ball out of the stick. Uh, Coach, your team's playing one of the toughest schedules in the country this year. How does this? How's the Maryland team compare to the ones that you've seen so far this season? They're a terrific team. We've played uh, a lot of very good teams. The Big Ten has been the best conference in, uh, in the country thus far, in my opinion, uh, week in and week out. So, uh, you know, hopefully now we head into Big Ten play. We're, back, we're certainly battle-tested with games against Syracuse and Virginia and Carolina and Loyola and Maryland in the Big Ten schedule. Um, that's a very good team. You know, we lost to a very good team. Uh, they, they're ranked where they deserve to be. Um, you know, they're a championship team, and championship teams find ways to win. They found a way to win today, and, uh, you know, hats off to them. And like I said, we move forward, and uh, our focus now is on the Big Ten. The Brock and Robert, is, is this the kind of defense that you guys expect, anticipate to play? Just how we should play every game. I mean, you know, it's been a while since we played good, solid team defense. And, uh, you know, as, as a goalie, I don't expect anything less from my defense than we are now. Yeah, honestly, we have a great goalie in cage. We just have to let him see the shots he wants. I think we did that today, and it definitely, definitely showed. Brock, what was the biggest defensive difference during those last three minutes when Maryland tied the game in the fourth quarter? Uh, you know, Coach kind of hit on that already. I mean, they're a good offensive team. Um, you know, just when we made small mistakes, they were capitalized. And that's, you know, credit to them for, you know, capitalizing on, uh, on those opportunities. I don't think we did anything bad or, you know, split second too late. Brock, what was it like being on the field for senior day and all the emotion? Uh, I mean, it was, it was incredible. I mean, I think over 10,000 fans there today. I mean, definitely big time game. Um, but you can't really focus on that. You've got to treat it like a normal game. And it was senior day, but you know, to me, it was just another game to go out there and play with all the guys. Brock, it seemed like you were seeing the ball exceptionally well. You made some, they were called hockey, five bell saves. Did you think it was you were on a hot streak there for a bit? Um, you know, Rob kind of done that. Uh, defense was giving up shots that I wanted to see. 
And uh, you know, as far as a couple of kick saves, just you know, right place, right time. And, uh, sometimes you'd rather be lucky than good. Coach, when was the decision made on Shaq? Uh, I asked Ernie a minute before the game, and he didn't know. Was it truly a last second thing? Yeah, it was a last second thing, and he was cleared, and we had to decide if it was in his best in, in the best interest of our athlete to put him out on the field safely. And, wow. uh, you know, we're certainly a better team with him than without him, and uh, I thought he showed a lot of a lot of courage and a lot of guts to walk out on that field and play today. And uh, you know, quite frankly, I'm tired of hearing how soft Shaq Stanwick is. Everybody, there's a few people out there that ought to take the pounding he takes and uh, and take the injuries that he has right now and step on that field against that defense and play. I'm really proud of him. What did it mean to you guys to see Shaq get out there? Certainly, got off to a great start because of that. Yeah, I mean, he meant everything. He's one of our leaders, and just to see him. Keep doing his thing through that. It's pretty amazing. Shaq's a tough kid. Uh, he's going to do whatever he can to help this team win. And uh, seeing that as you know, as a fellow senior, really inspires me to play my hardest and play like him.